Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Victoria. I work at Bloomberg. I want to claim that C++ is a problem and it's only getting worse with time. The language is too lenient. For example, we allow things like implicit conversions. We have some obsolete features like type dev. Now we have using, which is better. We have some dangerous default. Things should be not discarded by default and explicit by default. And we have excessive complexity for stuff like variable initialization and also unpleasant keywords like co-await. So I want to fix this problem, and I hope you want to, and I'm going to give you a possibility to do so. Everybody kind of wants to make C++ safer and simple, but we also really care about backwards compatibility. And the people usually think that we cannot remove or change any language feature while preserving backwards compatibility, but we actually can. So this is what Rust does. Everybody loves Rust, right? If you haven't tried it yet, you should. It will open your mindset to new things. However, uh, this is only one small, small feature of Rust, which is called editions. And basically what it means is that Rust has several different language versions called editions, and you can intermix those as both compile to the same AST as an intermediate representation, and those AST can live together. So the syntax between 2015 and 2018 can be completely different, but it will still be able to, um, they will still be able to communicate. You will be able to build programs out of code built with different editions. Let's change this a little bit and imagine that we have the same mechanism for C++. You can opt into an edition in your old file and in your new file. They can be different. They will compile to the same AST, and then you can build an artifact out of that. And the way we can do this is thanks to modules. Modules provide an isolated unit that basically compiles to, compile to some uh, binary IR, so there is no reason why each module should have the same syntax. They can compile to something that is common in the middle, but they can have a different syntax within themselves. Example, I want to get rid of implicit conversion in C++23 because we can get code like this, which is usually wrong and is not explicit on the caller side. If we have a function called serialize, which takes a stream and an int, and we call it with a float, it will silently do an arrowing conversion, which is probably an error and is losing precision. So this should not compile. If the user really wants to do this narrowing conversion, they can always use a static cast to do so. So why don't we force the user to do that? It will lead to better code and less mistakes by newcomers. Here's what I propose. In 23, if we try to make the conversion ill-formed for all the code in existence, obviously we're going to break everybody and nobody will use 23. However, we can make this change opt-in by, via modules. Imagine at the beginning of every module, you decide what version of Salesforce you want to use. So starting from 23, you can write a module which targets 20 or targets 23. And in 23, we decide to make this conversion ill-formed, so any module that, is, uh, that has the using 23 in it will have an error when you are trying to call serialize. And now both of these modules can live together, and it's up to you to decide how, which one to choose. And this also allows you to slowly migrate in a gentle way from an older code base to a new one. So what I'm proposing is just a mechanism to clean up language syntax and features. Uh, it will have a linear and incremental progression. It will have an opt-in backwards compatible system for, uh, based on modules. And it will provide a simple and possibly automatable uh, migration path. What I'm not proposing is anything that has to do with ABI. Like this is not about breaking the library or changing ABI. I don't want many small tunable knobs. I want a linear and incremental progression. The, I don't want to create dialects. And I don't want to give users more choices on how to do the same thing. I want to restrict the choices into something that works everywhere and is more uniform. Benefits, we become more appealing to newcomers. People might actually start using C++ for new projects. It's easier to teach, leaner, safer, more readable. And it will still look like C++, so we are not creating a completely new language. We will avoid community fragmentation because someone eventually is going to come along and create their own language that is compatible with modules. But if the standard controls it, then we can have, again, a uniform community. And again, we can migrate, migrate easily at our own pace. So questions? Yes. Yes, so the question is, imagine we get to C++ 70, which we probably will. You will have to maintain compatibility between 20 and 70. That is true, but it doesn't change even without this feature, because nowadays we maintain compatibility for each standard, and every compiler has to, do the to have the flag that basically represents each standard. So it's not really much work for compiler vendors, and assuming that we don't drastically change the language from 20 to 70, it will be quite uh, reasonable.
No headers. Use multiple.